We are now in the left-hand gun sleeve of turret two, and there's one particular thing that we want to point out uh, before we get into anything else. And it's this little round thing here. Now, this is a cover for what's called the turret centering pin. This cover lifts out, and if you look down in there, you'll see not only a recess, but you'll see the edge of another hole that's not quite lined up. This is what was used to lock the turret into place when it was not being used. The reason for this is you want the turret firmly held by something to keep the uh, gears and machinery from being battered around if the turrets move a little bit while at sea and in rough seas. Now the pin itself is this guy here. It's in a rack. You can see it's a very heavy steel pin. Um, I'll take measurements of it later and pass that along. Anyway, that cover was removed. The turret would be rotated to a center position. I'm sure by calling down an easy yell to uh, one of the turret trainers until those two holes lined up, then the pin would be dropped in place and that would lock the uh, turret in position. This cover would certainly be used just to keep dirt and junk from getting down in there that could uh, easily foul it. So what is it that's actually grabbing that turret in there? Well, for one thing, this is penetrating the two inch thick steel uh, turret shelf. And then that lower hole was actually bored into the top edge of the barbette, which is a separate structure that's heavily tied into the ship's hull framing. So this certainly gave it a good stop.